Hey everybody, uh, mailbag starts at 10 o'clock, that's about 15 minutes, but we put out the butterfly to try to get the kids down here and kind of active a little bit before we start, so maybe they'll hang out for mailbag. Um, so, uh, so I started the recording, if you want to, you can watch the kittens play for 15 minutes and then watch mailbag, or if you want to, you can go make a sandwich and then watch mailbag, or if you want to, uh, you can go take a quick shower. And then watch Mailbag. Um, yeah, uh, whatever it is, you, you have to watch Mailbag. It's uh, it's about 14 minutes now, and uh, all I'm afraid all your options involve watching it, so uh, it's just gonna happen. I'll see you then.
right, how are we doing? About time, isn't it, kiddos? <clears throat> We're gonna have to put that butterfly away, though. Hi, Crouton, I see you playing with one of your springs. She loves springs. That's one of her favorites. She's always carrying around springs. Well, I don't know if I took a picture of it either, but when I was sorting through the endowments, <coughs> uh, I set aside every package of springs so that I could get sort of an even distribution. <coughs> and there were a lot. There was like a whole pile of springs. It's crazy. Let me see if I did take a picture how many springs there were. At least if I did, I could put it up on Discord. Anyway, every kitten went home with a lot, or is going home with a lot of springs, especially little crouton. You know, I don't think I did take a picture of the spring pile. Oh, well. So, good morning. It is Sunday, not Saturday, and we're here for mailbag. Uh, we've got a bit of mail to get through. And as you know, uh, Nugget and Morsel were adopted together yesterday, so they're, they've left. Um, but um, I did tell their adopter I knew for sure there was going to be at least some stuff in here for them, uh, probably a lot. So I didn't even bother to try to open it up and figure out what was for them. I just promised that I would be mailing all of the stuff that Nugget and Morsel get to them uh, sooner rather than later. I know sometimes it can take me a long time to get on those things, um, but uh, that'll be a good excuse now that I've, I've cleared, with DJ's help, we've cleared the endowment pile from the basement, and we've cleared uh, almost all the stuff that was sent that was sort of like a, you know, as you see fit or a general endowment stuff. We usually keep kind of a backlog of that stuff so that if somebody's got a little bit of a light endowment, we can grab a bunch of that stuff and toss it in. Bad, you know, if it gets out of hand, if we have too much stuff, I start to feel bad because we've got this stuff that's just sort of not not being used right away, and you want to get it out there and get it used. That's that's the, I think for me anyway, the the number one importance, you know, for anything that you own is that it's it's going to good use. So anyway, uh, my point being, I was feeling that pressure, and uh, for for these kids, we went through all that stuff and and. Uh, endowed it all out, I guess. So we, we kind of sort of cleared the pile so we can start fresh. Now, we did keep a certain amount of stuff, you know, so we kept a certain amount of the springs. We've got the basics. We've got a tub of ping pong balls. We've got a tub of uh, springs and we've got a tub of uh, little mice, uh, like this kind of little mousey thing, um, you know, the, the real basics. So we got some of those and we've got, I kept stuff that was being kept sort of like uh, for future um, rooms, you know, like I've sort of been collecting. Uh, we got that the, the mushroom uh, cat tree thing, and we've got uh, some other forest setting stuff, like we've got that empty log um, and, uh, you know, some other random sort of forest mushroom scene stuff. I kept all that together in a pile to decorate a room. Uh, and similarly with, um, there were some new space theme stuff that hasn't even been put out yet that I was hanging on to and just, there was no time. There was, you guys sent so much stuff for the space theme. It's wonderful because I love it and I want to go back to it over and over and over. So uh, there's a whole bunch of brand new space theme stuff and the old space theme stuff that we put together. Uh, we got the old uh, desert theme with all the cactuses and stuff. We got a space for all that stuff. That's mostly all used. Um, and then... Uh, uh, what else did I say? Oh, uh, the unicorn and, and like rainbow theme. Of course, I love it so much. And there's some really cool stuff that was, that's been sent that hasn't even been put out along those lines too. So, uh, so lots of future themes that we can just sort of pick at random. Uh, we also have that set of really nice teal colored stuff. I love, I just love the color teal. Uh, I know I always make the joke about finding it a tealing and it's hard to tell if it's a pun or not, but it, it might legitimately be one of my favorite colors something in that area anyway, sort of like a seafoam teal color. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, uh, we were sent a whole set of stuff that was like tunnels and beds and things that were all that color. You've seen us using some of the rubber mats for the food dishes, but there was a whole set of stuff and I was gonna give it to our new mom cat. And when I brought it up there, there there's this little bed that's like a, like a uh, volcano bed, like the, the holes on the top. And it's sort of triangular shape, you know, and it's teal and it's so cute. Uh, and it was just not right for a mom cat. So when I realized that's what it was, uh, we, we just moved that stuff around the uh, uh, academy instead. So 
I guess my point is uh, lots of lots of decorating, clearing stuff out, and um, it, it feels good to have everything cleared out. And uh, I guess I got onto that by, by you know, I was mentioning the fact that we're going to mail stuff out sooner rather than later. So as we were going through all that, I, I found, um, you know, all the stuff that I've set aside in the past to get mailed out going back uh, pretty far, actually. Uh, I don't know for sure which the oldest is. They, they, there's some that, that might be even older than you would think, um, but... Uh, definitely stuff that I need to get mailed out and now this is a good chance for me to do it. So I guess that's my point. There you go. That was a really long way to say I'm going to mail some stuff out sooner uh, rather than later. And, and that's what I started by saying. So I could have just stopped there too. My goodness. Uh, all right. Let me check on the tech real quick and make sure everything's rolling and that our cameras are all pointed the right way. Um, oh, and we got a new mom cat. Yes, she's, you can see her right now in the upper right sink next to the blue beanbag chair. I was just talking about her. She showed up yesterday. She is super sweet. As you can see, uh, she's a calico. Her paperwork says she's two years old, but I'm certain that's just a guess. They don't know. She was picked up as a, as a stray. So, you know, it's not like an owner relinquish or anything. So we don't really know. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if she's pregnant or not. I know I always say that, but there's just nothing yet to indicate that she's pregnant. For sure. Uh, you know, her belly feels a little lumpy, but that could just be intestines. It's hard for me to know the difference at this point. Um, so, you know, we always go through this. Who knows? We'll find out. Um, she is, though, extremely sweet and, and just seems pretty easy going. As you can see, when she's in her room alone, she just settles down and takes a nap. But then the minute that you open that door, she wants to be there and be petted. She'll climb right up in your lap. Uh, just a just a total utter sweetheart. So she's gonna be real fun. Uh, DJ hasn't given her a name yet though, so just new mom for today. But we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, that's it for big news, of course. So let's just get started. Uh, there were a couple letters somewhere in this giant pile, and I usually like to start with those. You know, there was at least one. Let's see, where did they end up though? I think they might be. There it is. Yes, this this is definitely a letter. And then there's some other things that are kind of flat-ish. Uh, this one is from, I think, heck yes, Deidre. So let's see. Ooh, what do we got here? A little baggie that probably has a whisker in it and a note. And the note says, enclosed one paisley whisker. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. So sweet. Okay. The note says, uh, dear Mr. A and DJ, long time no write. I'm writing this letter to you to express my deepest gratefulness to reminisce and to hopefully brighten your spirits. First off, I've got to tell you about Princess Paisley, of course. She just had her annual vet visit and is in perfect health. She's 10 pounds and, as per the vet, has the perfect weight and body build. Everyone at the clinic loved her. She has several adoring fans in our friends and family that come to see her. She's become absolutely fearless, a true social butterfly, an absolute sweetheart, and all in all, a truly wonderful little princess. I'm also writing to tell you that my six-year anniversary of watching Kitten Academy is coming up. I can barely believe it. Uh, I never would have thought that when I started watching Ivy's League that my life would go in the direction it's gone. I've made many friends, met all sorts of lovely people, have done many incredible things, and of course, have my own little princess from K.A., the community that was built around this is so heartwarming and awesome, and I'm extremely grateful to it, and to you two as well. The hard work and love you pour into these cats and kittens is so obvious. And just know, thousands of people are incredibly appreciative of what you do, myself included. Thank you so, so much for all that you've done and all that you will do. Give the faculty and kittens an extra boop and spoogle for me. Sincerely, Deidre, heck yes, Deidre. Uh, also, Brandon, Brooke, Oliver, and Princess Paisley. So, uh, thank you so much, Deidre, for that wonderful note. And yes, you have been a part of the community for a long time. And uh, honestly, uh, when you decided to adopt Princess Paisley, I, I thought that was really something. Um, so, I, I just, I guess, I didn't expect it. There's a lot of people that have been part of the community uh, for quite a while, and uh, and you're like, well, you know, the people that like to watch the cats or that have their own cats and just support us, and that's great. We appreciate it. So that was a real treat and a real surprise. And uh, the, your enthusiasm for Paisley is just what we would want from anybody that ever adopts a kitten. It's wonderful. I just, I love all the spam and updates and stuff. It's just, it's fantastic. There can never be too much of that. And Paisley, of course, is a real sweetheart. So that is awesome. Thank you so much for writing. All right, uh, the rest of the letters aren't really letters either, so we'll just go and see what happens. I'm just going to start grabbing whatever comes next here. 
Um, this is clearly from Dragon Maker, uh, but a lot of times people buy stuff from Dragon Maker and have it sent here, so that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a Dragon Maker that sent this. I mean, did send this, but didn't. You know what? I, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna just okay. Hi, Mr. A. These wings are a gift to Ocean and her kids from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty for their endowments. Please be well. Catherine the Dragon Maker. Well, there you go. That makes my point very well. So this is from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. Uh, and uh, as you know, Dragon Maker makes these catnip uh, dragon wings and other things that are real. These are so cool. I love this print. And the, the catnip smells just overwhelming the minute that you open that bag. Anyway, uh, Dragon Maker. So uh, these are apparently each different colors on the back, but then on the front, they have the same pattern, which is this sort of space uh rainbow unicorn cat that couldn't be more perfect it's wonderful there's four of them in here i won't take out the other ones they're uh they have like a lavender purplish color and a yellow color backing uh there were no collar colors so there's no like canonical kitten colors to go with these kittens this time you can make up whatever you want that's nice too i'm just gonna put them right back in there and i'm gonna write ocean on this because uh when i bring these downstairs if i'm gonna be responsible I'll just toss them directly into the 11 separate endowment piles instead of uh, just letting them sit at all. So there we go. Ocean, I should write it on both sides. Oh. And Ocean Plus, so I know it's not just for her. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. Uh, Susan, oh, this is from, not Susan, this is from the Pussums, Dr. Pussums, the, uh, we're the, in the Catnip of the Month Club, and Dr. Pussums makes some very nice catnip. Ah, good. And this looks like a little, um, uh, sort of standard assortment of small, uh, small logo catnip, uh, kicker, uh, not kickers, bags. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. These are little catnip toys, they are filled with... 100% uh, catnip. These are from Dr. Pussums, uh, P-U-S-S-U-M-S, -S -S, like that. Their catnip is spectacular, I will say that. Uh, they're sort of a localish company, and their catnip is stuff that uh, is just, like, the cats love it as much as, like, the yow or anything, uh, but it seems like maybe it lasts a little longer. Maybe not. I don't know, but it's very good catnip, one way or the other. And these are just little bags with their logo on them that I took out of their package because we're going to put these out and around right away. I did notice our new mom upstairs already really likes the catnip, so I'm going to pocket two of these to bring to her. And then the other two, I'm just going to toss right out here now for them to enjoy. This catnip of the month club is a, is a really good deal. It seems, I mean, I don't know how much it costs. Maybe it's not a really good deal, but uh, it's, it's really cool that this new catnip shows up every month because they definitely last longer than a month. So you really come out ahead on that. Uh, and except for one month where they sent us cat, uh, wands instead of catnip toys, their wands didn't hold up the same way that their catnip does, uh, unfortunately. Except for that one month, everything has been a giant hit. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, let's see. i got to move some cameras around because they're sitting right here playing so much and you can't even see, but I know you can hear it because they're sitting right next to the microphone. It's probably a little overwhelming. Come here, you guys. I want you to keep playing with this toy, but I want you to do it where they, everybody can kind of see. All right, can we do it right here? Maybe? Okay. Come here, keep going. Keep going. Come on, you were having fun with it. You don't have to stop now just because I moved the toy, do you? No, if he does, that's fine too. We still win, don't we? Okay, uh, let me check real quick on, again, the camera and everything and see how we're doing. Oh, I was going to switch the camera from uh, our mom cat too. Did I do that? Let me check. I did not yet. All right, let's do that. To here. See, that would have worked. You could have, I could have just left it there. You could have kept playing. You could have watched. That would have made too much sense. Too much. All right, well, either way, we got that camera on now. If they start playing, we'll just uh, we'll zoom it around until you can see them as much as we can. All right, what's next here? Let's see. So for our new mom cat, I want to get her out of that room as fast as possible. And uh, I just need to decide whether I move her. Uh, our, our only real options are to move her to the big room down here, which she could take. Uh, we don't normally like it for mom cats that are going to give birth, though, because it seems too exposed. 
And a lot of mom cats get more nervous when they're about to, to have their babies and they don't want all the windows and doors. So uh, more likely what I'm going to do is clean out the first annex, which is where most of our mom cats do the business. Um, clear out the first annex and close that little door in between the annexes and, and get her moved just across the hall into there. Most of the reason that I really want to do that, uh, the room she's in is not bad and I can decorate it. It would be just fine. But I want, she seems very social. Uh, and I want her to have that door to look through into the rest of the house. So uh, I think I think getting her moved in there is probably the, the right way to do that. And sooner rather than later, I don't know about today, but uh, certainly by tomorrow, we're going to have her in a bigger room. So that's something that, that is going to be important to me. Um, uh, who is this from? What do we know about this? Because I just see six boxes inside this. And that doesn't tell me much, does it? And neither does the return address. Well, let's see. Maybe there's something else, though, because these were clearly sort of hand packaged. I can tell that from the fact that it's this box. Oh, well, look at that. Well, it's six more of this toy. Uh, that's that's exactly what this is. It's this toy. It's uh, This is what it looks like when it's not open uh, because it's like a, an accordion or one of those party decorations uh, where it comes as this little flat buck. Oh, this one's been out for a while, so it's kind of popped up now. Anyway, it comes as this little tiny puck, and on either side is a magnet, so when you do loop it around and connect it to itself, it stays, and then it makes this little uh, hole for the ball to go in that is just a little too small for it to fall out of when it's connected, and uh, you can set it like this. You can kind of turn it around and, and uh, mix it up and put it in different shapes. Um, it's very fun. It's fun to play with even for a person. I don't know. It's just a weird little thing. It's just made of, you know, like a thick, heavy cardboard so a card, card paper, card stock, I don't know, a thick paper. So it's not going to last forever, but some of these things do last a long time. Like that bed right there is made out of the very same material. And um, the little orange boy Spig is sleeping in it right now. I don't know if you can see him from that angle, um, but he is turned over and very cute in there. I can't, I can't use the close-up camera during close-ups right now because we've been working on the tech and I know that there's a bug right now. If I do that, it's going to stop recording the close-up, but I can still take a picture of him and share it. Anyway, that bed's starting to look a little bit beat up, um, but it's lasted a long time, and it's still uh, Custard's favorite bed, and just about everybody likes to sleep in it, so it's a, it's a great bed. So my point being, it's good material to make stuff out of, even if it doesn't last forever, what does? Uh, it's, it's really cool, and the cats like it. Um, so uh, I still don't know, though, uh, with six more of these, I'm pretty sure I just handed out during the endowments. We had six of them sent before for these kittens, because these kittens love this toy so much. Um, someone had sent six of them so each kitten could take one home with them. Now with six more, it seems like the intent is probably for us to give one to every kitten uh, that has uh, graduated. So that's really cool, uh, which we will do. I like that. So thank you to uh, whomever sent the extra six of these. Uh, there is a name on the return address. I guess I will credit it to that, uh, but I don't know if that was drop shipped or if that's the person that sent it. You know, here. Just in case, though, we'll say thank you to Polina. So uh, thank you, uh, Polina. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Uh, and I am going to write, uh, because I think all these kittens already got one, I'm just going to write Ocean Plus on it. Um, and I'll try to verify that. Ocean Plus. And I'm going to write Oregon uh, Magic, because I, the, the one time that we looked this up, I believe it was called Magic Organ. Uh, which is a really weird thing to call it, and uh, there's nothing on these these boxes, so I can't get the name from this, uh, but there you go. All right, it's a fun toy. It's been a real big hit, and it's uh, Smidgen. It's, you know, Smidgen is the one that sort of gets credit for having this be her favorite toy, uh, which is why I'm probably going to send her this used one along with the brand new one that she's got, but really everybody likes it so much. It's, it's really not a Smidgen exclusive. Uh, anyway, all right. Keep rolling here. What is this all about? Uh, only third party return. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, there we go. Lisa Four Kittens, it says. All right, Lisa Four Kittens. Well, something a little rumpled. This box has seen some better days, probably. Oh, more bread. Ooh, little tiny bread loaves. I'm assuming one for each Freddy. How cute are these? Uh, this, I think this is the same size as the small one that we have over there in that room. And they're just, they're just cute little um, uh, sublimation printed. Yeah, see, I, th I keep wanting to call it induction, but it's sublimation. Uh, sublimation printed uh, baguettes. 
uh, for the Freddies, and there's a bag of them actually. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Yes, and I think Lisa Four Kittens did warned me that these were coming so I could hand them out before anybody went home. But I knew I would not be able to tell which box they were because Lisa for Kittens sent so much stuff, so I didn't even try. And that's okay. Like I said, we're gonna. This is not gonna be the only thing that arrives a little bit late for the Breddies for Nugget and Morsel specifically, not for all the Breddies. So we're planning on that. We're going to take care of it and make sure that those get to them, plus uh, hand it out in the rest of the endowments. So not a problem. Uh, Lisa for Kittens, thank you so much. Those are such cute little baguettes, too. Uh, really fun. So, okay. Uh, Kitty Girl is what this one says uh, in the return address. Care of Kitty Girl. Spelled just the normal way you would expect. I like that. No surprises. Uh, oh, and inside, I think we've also got notes, perhaps. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, these are travel things. I see. These, are, this is the kitty girl that adopted um, uh, that adopted Crouton. So this is from Crouton's adopters, and they say, "Here are some travel things for Crouton in preparation for our arrival, for her to get used to." That's so thoughtful to send. Um, it looks like a, a, a let's see, a harness. Oh, that's a cool harness, too, and it's that teal color that I like. Uh, very cool. Uh, quite a tealing, he says. Okay. And also, uh, I'm assuming an airline carrier. Yes, Worldwide Sherpa Carrier Original Deluxe MD Black. Very cool. All right. Uh, let's, let's take a quick peek and see uh, what this looks like for us. For our cute... So she's taking an airplane trip back home uh, with... Uh, uh, with TF Pitek, who a lot of you know as being, um, he and his family are uh, highly involved in the coordination of KACON every year. Uh, so, and uh, this year being no exception to that. Oh, this is nice. It's got like a heavy plastic mesh on it. Uh, that, that looks like that's going to be a real good carrier, solid hardware. Um, very cool. Okay, I'm not going to take it out of the plastic as much as I would like to. I wanted to see if it had like expandable sides or anything. I like that for an airline carrier. So if you happen to have extra room or an empty seat or just time while you're waiting in the, uh, the airport uh, waiting lounge, you can um, uh, open, uh, spread out the, the space, make a little more space for them. And I, I like that a lot too. Uh, but this is great. So I'm going to leave this stuff out here somewhere and make sure that Ocean has time to actually get used to it and we can open it up and get you know smells into it and stuff. And she's going to be real comfortable with it. I said Ocean. I mean Crouton, of course. I don't know why Ocean's name came out, but... Uh, crouton. I, I might have said ocean a couple times. I do know the difference. Believe me, I do. Uh, so, crouton. Crouton is who's being adopted by TFP Tech and Kitty Girl and Family, uh, uh, Bella Kitty. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know the difference. Um, okay. All right. So that's so thoughtful. That's really cool. That so you guys are gonna like I said, you're gonna fly home with her, and uh, we do you know we do allow adoptions that involve flying the kittens home. Of course, the rules the same as always that uh, they they have to fly with you in the cabin of the airplane. No no cargo cats. Uh, interestingly enough, I was looking into that recently, and I don't think the airlines will do it in cargo right now either. I don't know if that's a forever rule or not. Uh, maybe it's just dogs. I don't. Maybe I'm wrong too. I could just be making that up. But anyway. Uh, so that's the, the carrier, and then uh, for anybody that's thinking about traveling on an airline with their cat, we have done it in the past, and the one thing that you always have to do is contact the airline before your flight, and uh, no matter what you, you said when you bought your ticket, you know, no matter what you clicked or, you know, however you said, I'm going to bring a pet or not or whatever, uh, you always have to call them too and be like, all right, I'm on this flight, I'm bringing a cat, uh, I need to make sure that that's okay, because they have a limited number of pets that they allow in the cabin. So that's, as far as I know, also kind of first come, first serve. You want to call them early and be like, all right, I booked the flight, bring a cat, make sure that you, you know, plan for that. And then uh, it's going to be somebody else uh, maybe that wouldn't get to. Or, uh, you know, hopefully everybody gets to bring their cats where they want and uh, there's enough room for everybody all the time. That would be nice too. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's great. They're flying. They sent uh, the carrier ahead of time. I think that's really cool, thoughtful, wonderful. Thank you so much. And I will make sure that she has some time to be exposed to that. Oh, wow. We've got some real classic packing here. we got the heavy-duty packing tape, and we have an envelope on the outside that says packing slip. That is a classic way to do this. So let's see what we have here. 
Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both doing well and staying cool in this unusually hot summer. You know it is. But at the same time, uh, the last two nights have been unusually cool, uh, like in the 50s, and it's been wonderful. Uh, I love to sleep in the, in the cool weather with the window open. It's the best thing. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Um, enclosed are some Magic Mouse rechargeable toys for the current two classes. I believe there are enough for the kittens and also Ocean and Crouton. These toys are pretty neat. I've purchased them for most of my friends' cats, and they are a big hit. They come from Pip the Ocean Cats store, but unfortunately they're sold out probably because of me. And they will not be restocking as they're moving to Poland at the end of the year, so the store will close. <sighs> Enjoy the rest of your summer. Looking forward to the next mom cat. Uh, I like you put mom cat in quotes because they might not be mom cats. <laughs> this is from Darlene, who is Tig and Lucy's mom. Tig and Lucy's mom. Uh, Darlene, thank you so much. I don't think I'm familiar with uh, Pip the Ocean Cat, but I'm going to have to check that out. And these are the, uh, it says, Woohoo Cat Toys, Woohoo Magic Tail, Hours of Fun. And it is a, some kind of an electronic mouse that comes with a USB charger. And it has, um, it's an electronic mouse, USB charger. And it comes with, uh, let's see, sparkly, the ears and, and the tail are very sparkly, plus the tail appears to have a feather on it as well. Uh, underneath we have, I see three different rollers. On the back, we've just got plain rollers. And on the front, it seems like we have a motorized roller that also turns. Random moving roots. Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. It does say the plush bird toy is equipped with a feather tail. Hmm. Lost in translation, I assume. Uh, this, this looks pretty cool. And if your cat stops playing with it, it will automatically switch on standby mode and can be activated by touching. So the cats, you can just leave it around when the cats touch it, it'll start running again. That sounds fun. Oh, try me. I'm charged and ready. This one says the one that I'm holding. All right. Well, let's put one out right now. Why not? Um, plus, uh, um, ooh, oh, okay. It's the back wheels that are motorized and the front wheel that turns. I see. And it's just kind of got, uh, it's on a swivel, so it can just turn randomly. And that's what I guess would account for the random motion. Maybe it goes forward and back once in a while, too, to switch it up. There you go. You can see the feather tail. That is a very interesting little bird toy. All right. Well, let's see. I don't see any kittens here. Kittens, everybody settled down. It's nap time, apparently. We got, um, uh, that is Astro sleeping in the tree. Uh, I can see somebody's looking down from way up on top. It looks like a chunk way up on top there. Somebody's playing in the other room, though. It's quiet. A lot of these toys are very loud. Can you hear it? Hang on. That's pretty quiet. I like the fact that it's a, it's a little bit bigger than some of the cat toys because that way it won't go under the door or it maybe maybe not get stuck as it just went right over the, the oh it just went back and forth over the vent three times until it got itself stuck oh and unstuck okay it can handle the vents nice the rubber on the little wheels is really nice rubber too it seems like it grips really well it's like what you would put on a mouse wheel or something all right well they're all interested let's leave it running that's fun it is, uh, I'm sorry, it's Magic Mouse Rechargeable Toys from the Pip the Ocean Cat store, but they're sold out because they're moving to Poland. So I guess these are the very last ones that will ever be had, potentially. Huh. Uh, what else does it say? Uh, I was wondering, maybe there was like a brand name or someplace where they source these, but no, whoever, whoever makes these is, uh, it's very generically labeled Cat Toys. Uh, and I don't see any other branding on it whatsoever. Okay, well, uh, maybe everybody else has missed their opportunity. Maybe what I should do is really talk these things up and then scalp them on the black market. You know, I can turn them around, sell them for way more money because they're they're limited edition now. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sell out somebody else's wonderfully thought toys for these kittens. No, we're going to have to make sure these all go down. So let me count them real quick because we need 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's number 11, and uh, that's okay. I, I don't know that every mom cat would want one anyway for this class, but we'll pack that one up and give it to somebody that really likes it, and that way everybody gets one. So that's the perfect number. We've got 11 cats and mom cats and kittens here, not counting the new mom cat. Uh, so that's exactly right. Thank you so much for those. They're going to love them.
Okay. Uh, oh, and I guess we'll, we'll keep this. I was going to throw out the package, but we'll keep it that way. We can uh, sort of gift it to one of the cats, and it still looks like it's never been used. Don't tell anybody. Once I take this this off, nobody will know which one was been used. Okay. <laughs> They're having fun with that. Okay, let's see what's in this box from Target, uh, which says Lover of Cats. Okay, so this is from Lover of Cats. And I'll probably have to check Discord to see if there's any more of a note than that. Um, I do think I got a note, but my brain is not fully functional yet. So I say yet, you know, it's it's been over 40 years, so probably never will be fully functional, if we're honest. Uh, yeah, see what I did there? Uh, you thought I meant this time of morning, but no, I meant in my life. This is a cardboard bed that is shaped like a shark. It is so cute. Oh, my goodness. It says Sun Squad Shark Cat Scratcher. And uh, because uh, a lover of cats sent in three of these, my assumption is that that's one for each of these little guys, which would make sense because they are, after all, ocean-going kittens. So uh, probably familiar with sharks and things like that. So uh, I will assume that these are for them. I will definitely give this to them in their endowments. If we didn't already have so much of a backlog of stuff to put out, though, these are so cute. I would love to see these around the Academy. Probably better that we've got too much already. Uh, that way we can go straight to their uh, endowments and be pristine when they get it, which is always a nice thing, too. So I'm going to write Ocean's Kids on this box, and then I think we're going to use it to carry a bunch of stuff down, maybe. Oh, but only if I can find where I put my pens and things. Oh, then now the mouse is going to get himself stuck. All right. There's always a way. Isn't that what Godel taught us? There's always a way to get stuck in the system. Uh, let's see here. Ocean. Uh, kids. There, that's what I'm going to write. Ocean kids. Perfect. And then I can also add these things, which are also for Ocean and Kids, right here. I know, you see that little kid I here? Is he going to fight back? Looks like that was scary. Okay. Perfection. Thank you very much, lover of cats. Those little shark beds look so cute. Oh, my goodness. I know uh, whoever adopts these kittens will have to send us pictures of them uh, playing with those things because they are adorable. Okay. Uh, let's see. It seems like that mouse is a hit, and then if it just if it just stops itself, and then it starts up again later, they can get play with it again. That is, uh, that's something you can just leave out, I think, and have fun with. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so these are fun cubes. Uh, what do we know? Who are these from? We don't know. It just says Kitten Academy. All right, drop ship from some place in Illinois. Well, okay, that's what we know. Um, whoever sent the fun tube, thank you so much. This is another one of those items. I, I mentioned the mice and springs and the balls uh, that we kept over some of. Uh, I think we also kept over some fun tubes because that's another staple item that we gave out so many of. It was another one of the things I had to sort out on its own so we could figure out how many we had and hand them out evenly. Uh, these are really great. And it, uh, for this client, these kittens in particular, these are really great. They love these things. I see them run around from all the time. They're the things I always find pushed under the doors the most often. That's how you know that they're a big hit. Um, I see two of them from where I'm sitting. Uh, and then the trick, of course, if you're not too familiar, is if you buy them and they come as little tubes like this, uh, you fold the ends inside on themselves. Uh, and that makes them into a, like a weird little um, double conical shape, uh, like you were back in geometry class doing conical sections. Uh, and that makes them really fun and kind of extra springy. So the kittens love them. Uh, these are great. So these will go, I'm going to put these for what I'm going to say are random you know, endowments, um, but uh, we'll carry them down and, and sort it out from there. So thank you so much. That is just one of those those classic toys that all the kittens love so much. It's something you always want. You know, there's, there's a certain set of toys that if you have a cat, like it's something you have to have or try, you know, that's one of them. Okay. Hell's Dells has sent some endowments from overseas, apparently. Look at that. I love those little bags that you use. They're always the same cute little bags. To Chris, I can smell so much catnip coming up right now. Wow, okay. To Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens. Enclosed are gifts for Ocean and her kids and some for deployment. Love, Hell's Dells. Aw, thank you. 
Um, I just want to check this camera, make sure that it's pointed at something, and then yeah, it's got to go over just a little more, doesn't? Oh, they flipped the they flipped the mouse, and now it's just spinning its wheels. So it can be defeated. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, well there. We go. All right, well, let's see. Uh, Hell's Dells has sent a whole bunch of stuff for endowments. This one says the Kits Endowment. Perfect. The Kits Endowment bag contains, ooh, look at that. Oh, uh, we got this uh, weird fruit. This is, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I can taste it. It tastes kind of vaguely uh, like, a, like a pear, uh, except much, much harder to chew. Uh, Persimmon. Yes. Yes. I think that's it. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Wow. That took too long. Uh, we also have a pineapple and I guess a weird watermelon. I don't know what else that could be. Maybe, maybe a weird kiwi. It's not quite green as it looks though. All right. That's fine. We'll go with one of those. And, uh, oh, uh, some little plastic jingly balls. Perfect stuff. That is so great. Yes. And the Mylar ball. Uh, and, and the little Charlie balls, another classic, yes, uh, lots of those. Okay, so this is for endowments for these kids. I'm going to put it right in here. This is for the Academy. All right, that's us. I know those guys. Let's see here. Oh, all right, some more weird fruit. I'm not even going to try with this one. What is this? It's got a white center and all these pips in it and a little pink thing on top. I think they're just making stuff up at this point. That's not even real. Uh, we've got a, a fish with a little pink fin and a smiley face. She's very happy, like uh, one of those crackers that likes to be eaten. Uh, we've got this tiny wand. Oh, that's so cute. It's the smallest little wand. You want to play, buddy? This would be great for like a, a bedside table. You know, you keep these in your nightstand to play with when the kittens come to the bed. That's perfect. Also, this little thing is just like that rainbow thing I like. It's just little discs of felt, really thick felt put together on a string. It makes a good toy. I saw that rainbow back carried all the way upstairs by one of the kittens. Uh, <laughs> we, have, we have, okay, now this is too much because, uh, oh, oh my goodness, you sent Sid Vicious to me. This is Sid Vicious as a kitten. And you sent the Prince, Purple Rain, Prince catnip toy. That is so cool. And I know, uh, I was just, I just said this on the chat yesterday. I was just talking about how when I was going through the endowments, there's also a Ziggy Stardust, one of these. It looks a lot like this with the Ziggy, um, you know, lightning bolt and stuff uh, that you had sent us previously that uh, we just went into the endowments for Crouton, I think. Uh, this Perince one is so cool. The Sid Vicious, Kitty Vicious is pretty cool, too. They, these are so cool. They're Freak Me Out brand, Freak Me Out, handmade in Wales. Freakmeout.co.uk is at www.freak, like freak, M E O W T. That's freakmeout, uh, M E O W T, dot co dot uk. Uh, uh, also, not on the high street dot com slash freakmeout, uh, spelled the same way, M E O W T. Uh, how cute. Those are so cool. I love the Perrins one. Uh, the Sid Vicious is pretty cool. And that, that Ziggy was so cool. I almost didn't want to give it away. But again, you know, we've got so many cat toys. We're clearing stuff. Uh, these are so cool. All right, I'm going to put these for a generic endowment, I guess. That Perrins one especially. Oh, no. Uh, I can't just put those for generic endowments. They're for the Kitten Academy bag. Okay, that's what we're going to do. See, there's my excuse to hang on to them. I got an excuse. Oh, this is for Ocean. It is, again, a Dragon Maker catnip thing, uh, except it is with the Kitty Academy logo on it. She was making these for a while. Uh, and I, I know there were plenty of them at the uh, KA Con, but I don't know if there's going to be any more after that, if it's a regular item or not. I'm not sure. Very cool, though. So this is labeled for Ocean. I'll put it right in here. Thank you so much. Oh, this is also labeled for Ocean. All right, let's see what else she gets. Oh, the Jackson Pollock fish and... Jackson Pollock fish, okay. Uh, oh, another one of the little red fish. This is the same as that mouse that you see me playing with our new mom with. It's a big, fuzzy, furry mouse. And then this funny little bug. He's got, the, he's got a silly little face and body and antenna. A uh, little dragonfly, I guess. Very cute. Those are so fun. All right, those will go to ocean. Uh, from way overseas. That's awesome. Wow, what a trip that uh, Dragon Maker uh, thing must have made. How cool is that? All right, this says the Kits Endowment. All right, more for these kids. Oh, and that also says the Kits Endowment. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Oh, these are more of those awesome mice. Oh, those are a big hit. 
in various colors. <laughs> we got a little spyglass back there playing uh, in all the, the packing material. Oh, sorry, my nose is being itchy all of a sudden. Okay, the kits endowments. Uh, oh, and the rest of those fish. I see red fish, blue fish. Now I'm starting to get a theme here. Uh, and another blue fish. Okay, because that's how it goes. That, that was, I believe, was the original version written by, uh, is that Dr. Seuss, right? Uh, Dr. Seuss it was a uh, red fish, blue fish, another blue fish, and it just didn't go as well. Uh, I'm glad you thought that. Okay, that's for the announcements. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much, Health Dells. Those are so cool. Those little punk rock, uh, or I guess rock um, kittens, though, are so cool. Again, if anybody's looking for these for themselves, they are freakmeout.co.uk, uh, uh, um, handmade in Wales. All right, well, hey, if these are for the Academy, we've got to put this, these prints in, uh, we got to put it out right now. Ari, hey, Ari, 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 oh, oh my gosh, I didn't mean for that, actually, <laughs> it's a good thing it's a lie, it just freaked him out, it freaked me out, okay, I'm sorry, buddy, I did not mean to do that, that was so rude. What are the chances? Okay. This other one we're not going to throw. We're just going to put it right here. You can't be trusted. Look at all these brand new toys and stuff, and they're both just playing with pieces of packing material. This little scrap of paper, the plastic, that's the stuff that's fun. Because kittens, that's why. Yep. Okay, is this all packing material too? Maybe I can put some of this stuff in. One more. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Hellsdales, thank you so much. Those are really, really cool stuff. All right. Joy F. All right. Good to hear from you again, Joy F. What do we got in here from Joy F? Oh, I know what this is already because I've been going through the endowments. This is one of those box uh, boxes of mice. So it does say a Chihuahua, 24 pieces, rattle mice. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, let's get this plastic off if we can. We can't, all right? So, yeah. Good to maintain that skepticism about my own ability to just unwrap things. Oh, there we go. It's this, uh, the rainbow mice. There was just one here two seconds ago. Where did it go? Uh, okay, not that one, the other one. Oh, but you can see. There we go. So it's a whole bag of those. Those are great. They're a huge hit, too. They're tiny little mice. They have rattles in them. They're nice to look at, and the kittens love them. What else is there to say? Uh, real classic. Oh, what else is there to say? Well, there's a note. The note says, uh, enjoy your gift from Joy. All right, good enough. Thanks, Joy. Really appreciate it. Also, Abby, Lila, and Bayou. Uh, Bayou. Bayou? Bayou? All right, we tried. Hey, buddy. What are you getting into there? All right, it seems like the kids are catching their second wind on this uh, mailbag here. Everybody calm down for a bit. This does not say anything interesting on the outside, so let's see if it says anything interesting on the inside. Well, there's a box in a box, Amazon Classic, and, and no, no, no note here. Go under a flap, no. All right, no note. Oh, wait, 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 there it is, there's, I bet this is the note. It's stuck right under the flap where I, somehow I lifted the flap inside and I still didn't see it. Is it? Ah, oh no. No, that's just the same note I saw. It went under the flap. I'm crying out loud. That was, wow. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, it says it is a uh, Dradient Coloful dog bed. Dradient Coloful. All right. Let's try it out. I think it probably means gradient colorful. Ari, hi, what are you doing, buddy? You look so funny sitting in that box. Or any other kitten, I think you were peeing in there. Oh, it's a marshmallow bed because of course it is, and it is beautiful blue. <gasps> look at that, that is a gorgeous color. It's not the cookie monster blue that you normally see in a marshmallow bed. It is more of a gradient blue. Uh, that's really pretty, and I, I don't know exactly who it was sent for. I'm gonna guess Ocean. Ocean does like a soft bed sometimes, and uh, it's kind of an oceany color. But whoever sent it definitely takes some credit. Let me know. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just dump it right in here to go with the endowment stuff. Thank you for that, Maggie. Stop hissing at kittens. That's uncalled for. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need you to be hissing at kittens, do we? 
All right, well, this one I don't even need to open. Uh, we know what this is. This is the Jolly Time Popcorn Coupons and Bag. You can go on Jolly Time Popcorn's website, and there's apparently you can sign up to get a free bag. And it's a nice, it's a big purple cloth bag that says Jolly Time Popcorn on it. It's great for carrying stuff around in this day of bring your own bag to the grocery store like we do. Maggie, I think it's time to go, all right? That, that was a real conflict. Come on. She doesn't want to be your friend. All right? You don't need to start trouble here. Oshi, Oshi, come here. Come here, Oshi. Come here. Come here. Hi. No, you're a sweetheart. You're okay. You told her to back off, and I'm sorry she needed some extra help to back off. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that is uh, Ocean. Every now and then, Ocean, you can see she's real friendly. She gets along with everybody. I know you can see that about her. Uh, but she does get overwhelmed, especially when, like, Maggie or somebody starts pushing her too far and you start to see her tail getting agitated and they're still not backing off. And she hasn't started any fights. Uh, thank goodness. I don't think she would. But she gets progressively angry and, and growly and swatting. And I feel like she's starting to get there a little bit. So... Uh, when that happens, if, if we're not able to get her to just settle down a bit, uh, we'll just put her in her room for a few minutes and let her reboot. You know, she just needs a little Tom out, that's all. Uh, and it's not her fault. Of course it's not. In fact, I think that was very much Maggie's fault. Uh, but every now and then she just needs a reset, you know? Okay, so let's see. What is all this? This is a, oh man, look at that print. It's got uh, uh, bowling balls and like cats on it. It's like in this old retro style. Oh, that's not a bowling ball. It's another planet. <gasps> Even better. Just like the last one I saw, I thought I had bowling balls and it was planets. This is so cool because that's a rocket. <laughs> There's a note here too, but come on, we'll get to that. Let's, let's look at what's important first. It is that very much that style. I bet it's kind of, you know, bowling reminiscent anyway, uh, just because of the era. I mean, you see these prints in the old bowling alleys, don't you? All the time. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. It's sort of an early, I, I think of that as an early 70s kind of a style, maybe 60s, late 60s. Is it? I don't know. Someone who knows more about fashion can tell me, but that print is so cool. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to wear this. In fact, I'm wearing this flannel right now because it was very cool this morning, but things are starting to uh, to warm up already. Oh, and it's got a it's got a vest. It's got a chest pocket, which is just luxury. Oh my goodness. So many of these don't. I'm just going to switch this right over. I'm going to put it on right now. Oh, but I should read the note. Maybe it's not even for me. <gasps> I shouldn't get so excited. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> Hello, Mr. A. Greetings to everyone from Asheville. April in Asheville. Just a quick note this week to send you this awesome shirt. I'm officially requesting that we take a group photo at next year's KA Con with everyone wearing their favorite cat-themed Hawaiian shirt. All in favor, please say aye. Well, I'm in for sure. If this is approved, I will have to make the trip and attend for the first time. Well, also, then, now we're definitely in for that reason, if nothing else. Uh, thank you and Dr. DJ for opening your home and your hearts to mom, cats, and kittens. We appreciate everything you do for them and for us. Pet kittens and ramble on, April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Thank you, April. I love this shirt, obviously. It's so cool. All right. Uh, and yeah, I'm all about wearing uh, these things for KACON. I'm in. Count me in. That's probably Ocean. If it is, it's time for her to go take a little break because she sounds a little upset. Oh, it's not. It's uh, it's Smidgen and Spy. I can't tell what's happening though because Smidgen is the one making all the noise and the one biting Spy. <laughs> he probably just he probably pushed her too far. Spy is a little terror. He is a. Uh, uh, just, you know, he's no fear and he will wrestle with the older, bigger kittens until they can't take it anymore. Like he's the one that wears them out and you see this happen over and over. And I'm sure that's what just happened. He probably had pushed her to her very limit. And then she starts making noise and I go in there and look and it seems like she's beating him up, but he probably started it. I know how it is. Anyway. All right. Uh, thank you for the awesome shirt. It is fantastic. Okay. I also, I love that everybody is so supportive of my love for these uh, Hawaiian shirts, uh, you know, sort of in defiance uh, to DJ's disdain for the same. Uh, yeah. 
I think she mostly just likes to, to laugh anyway. You know, she's just making fun of it. She thinks it's ridiculous, and that's fair. It is. That's what I like about it. It's, it's whimsical and, and silly and, and colorful. What's not to like about that? Blade guard! Woo! All right, nobody trusts me with a knife these days. That's fine. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> All right, what is the note here? What is the note here? Wow. Uh, greetings, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. I do hope all is well at the Academy. As we, as we all say a fond farewell to Crouton and her tiny breads, I wanted to make sure I sent along some toys for them to take to their forever homes. I've enclosed for each of them a handmade ball and mouse. I did my best to try to match the color of the toys to their coat colors. May they lovingly play and or destroy them in the future. LOL. I didn't want the faculty to feel left out as I have not sent anything for them in a bit. For them, you will find a crazy, colorful kicker that I hope one of them will enjoy. If not, feel free to deploy as you see fit. Finally, I made a little dishcloth that I thought you could use however you'd like. I will miss Crouton and her tiny breads terribly, especially Crumb, who has found a special place in my heart and in the hearts of my mother and aunt who also watch Kitten Academy. While we won't get to see them every day on stream, we know they have all found amazing new homes with amazing new cat butlers and maids. Plus, we still get to see beautiful Ocean, Oshi, and her adorable sailing kit. Spy, Astro, and Cal brighten every day as their little personalities come out and they make their way through the many classes taught at KA. Please give them all lots of spoogles from me. Don't forget to include the faculty in that, especially Shy Eddie. Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for all you do. As always, Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Well, thank you, Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Uh, I, I think that is very sweet of you. And look at that. That's some fancy paper. All right. So uh, this must be the kicker that you sent. I love the rainbow. That's so cool. It's a little rainbow kicker to keep around the academy. Mmm, smells a little catnippy, I guess. All right. Uh, it's, uh, I think, got uh, some fiber fill in there to kind of pat it out. And that's good stuff. That'll make it awesome for kicking around. Uh, I'm, I want to try to toss it into the next room where I can hear kittens playing, but I can't see what they're doing. So I think I'll just put it behind me for the moment. All right, what is this? What do you think, buddy? Oh, ah, okay. All right, well. Uh, oh, these did match their colors, though. Look how cute these are. So this is smidgen. And it's a little uh, sort of dilute calico with the white and the brown and the gray. And it's even got little ears. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay, that's smidgen. And we have tidbit here, the little black and uh, gray and white, I mean. Yes, there we go. Uh, all gray has got to be morsel. Of course it is. Uh, chunk. Uh, chunk. That's some great colors for chunky chunk. Uh, nugget. That is a very accurate nugget. And um, crouton, yep. Oh, and she's a little bigger too. That's that that works. That's very cute. I see. How, I see what you did there. And then crumb. Look at that. Those are so cute. And I think really, uh, it's maybe I, if I get the idea here. Yeah, it's not so much that these are like heads and bodies. Uh, it's a little mouse with ears. I see. A little mouse with ears and a tail, and the other one is a ball to play with. But they're all held together. Uh, by the string that's holding the tags. And when you untie the tag, they come apart. It's a very clever way to make sure that they stay with the one that they belong with uh, and are labeled, but uh, uh, just bare minimum packaging. I like it. And this must be the, the little dishcloth that you were talking about, which is in Ocean's Colors, and I love it. I do love it. And again, it's that sort of blue, teal, uh, you know, cyan. Oh, cyan, there's another. That's good, yeah. Uh, color that's wonderful. You know... Uh, we've been sent a few of these sort of hand crocheted uh, um, rags and things before, dishcloth, rag, whatever you want to, you know, say that it is. Uh, and I never, I never feel right using them because they're so nice and you can see how much work went into them. And then you can't just like, I don't know, put a pot on it or uh, get it wet, can you, or wash it? I mean, I know you can, but it just, they seem so nice. Uh, at any rate, I'll put this with the stuff that we're going to use uh, and, and have around the academy. Uh, and I guess we'll use it. Things are for using after all, aren't they? Uh, thank you so much for that. I will make sure that this gets uh, into their endowments. And of course, the ones for Nugget and Morsel, a little late, but 
Uh, not, I don't mean that as a, for you, uh, of course. I mean, a little late to go uh, home with them, but we will. Uh, we'll make sure it gets to them. So awesome. Mm. Coffee break. Hang on. Uh. Okay, good. Whew, I needed that. I need a lot more of that. Okay, more from Joy F. Look at that. Maybe this one will have the note. Let's see. Ooh, oh, of course. I should have expected. Uh, Joy F has been sending these cute little uh, uh, beanbag babies for each uh, Mary Meyer brand. Uh, uh, little tiny cute animals for each class. And so, um, oh, look at this. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We have a new member of the family. Oh, wow. Kara is learning about KA. Plushies for Oshi's kittens. Uh, Spyglass gets a monkey. Well, of course he does. That seems too appropriate. Uh, I think the monkey is the one that's missing from this bag, though. So we'll come back to that. Oh, wait, no, this is a monkey. He's blue. Oh, I thought that was a rabbit for some reason. He's a little blue monkey. That's so cute. So Spyglass gets the monkey. Astro gets the owl. There we go. Our little owl for Astro. And Callie gets a pup. That's so cute. Everything else to play as you wish. Kitten hugs from Abby, Bayou, Lila, and Kara or Kara. Oh, no, now you've got two of those names. Uh, that could go either way on the vowel sound. Uh, thank you for that. I just I just heard something beep for no reason. Hmm. Uh, hopefully not anything that I need to worry about. Uh, I'm just not going to worry. If it was important, it would have kept beeping, right? Cool. Okay, uh, Joy F, uh, congratulations on your, your new addition to the family. And let's see what we got here. Ship to Mailbag Kitten Academy. All right, well, that's us. For sure. Mr. A, after watching you open packages with items for the kittens and the mom, I thought it was time someone send something for you. This is so cool and closed as a gift for your office from Paul W. Paul W, this is the nicest thing. This is a uh, handmade wooden frame clock with the KA logo on it, and I love it. Oh, oh no, I think we lost a letter, though. That's fine. I have glue. I'll put a little extra glue on here. Uh, we, we lost a couple of our ones, actually. Oh, oh, there we go. I see. Oh, they're sticky. Oh, hang on, hang on. We can repair this. We can make this work, Paul. No worries, buddy. We got this. Uh, and we probably should put ocean up. I hear somebody in there getting irritated. All right, 10 and 12. All right, uh, uh, dip, dip. 10 and 12. All right, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to center those. We'll, we'll get it, we'll get you. All right, there we go. That's good enough for showing everybody though. So this is a beautiful clock with this nice uh, uh, handmade frame. Oh, and really nice. I guess everybody else saw this, but I'm just now looking at the back for the first time. Uh, I can see on the back that you've repurposed some some old um, uh, wood siding, uh, not siding, what do you call it, panel board, something like that, uh, to make the, the, the top, which is also very clever. What a great use for that stuff. Uh, this is beautiful. And you also kindly sent me a battery, so I wouldn't even have to think about that much. Uh, and the mechanism here seems like it works great. I didn't plug it, uh, put the battery in yet, so it's not going to work, but we can turn it to whatever time we like. I love it. I love the logo. And this is so lovely. This, this, uh, the, the frame that you've made here out of this, 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 uh, wood matches our house and our floors and everything perfectly. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. I cannot wait to hang this up in my office and I keep moving my office around. It's currently the climbing wall room. Uh, so this is just perfect for that. Uh, if I end up moving my office again, it'll be hard to decide whether it moves with my office or stays there as part of the kitten room. Uh, thank you so much, Paul. Uh, that's just, that's really, really kind of you. I love it so much. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up here and bring it up nice and safe. So there we go. Uh, and here, we can put this with it now. And this can go with it and that can all go upstairs together. Oh my goodness, Paul, that is, that, thank you so much. That is so cool. All right. Uh, I hope, I hope you made that. It's, it's just, I mean, I know you did because it's got a logo in it. How else is that going to happen? I just love it. How did I not cover up this address for Dorothy? Dorothy, I'm sorry. I hope nobody saw that. We're going to pretend nobody saw it. Okay. 
I apparently didn't see it when I was covering up the addresses. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Okay. This says, oh, this is a cute little um, watercolor of a cat who is sleeping in a wicker chair next to a whole bunch of hanging plants. Uh, it's very pretty. So there we go. And it says, hello, friend. Oh, and it says, you plant seeds of kindness everywhere you go. Thank you for all your kindness to the mom, cats, kittens, and faculty. You are an inspiration to us all from Dorothy A. on Discord. Aw, Dorothy A., thank you so much. Uh, that's a really pretty card. Uh, you've also sent another note. Hi, Spig. What are you looking for, buddy? Hi, you want to just snuggle right up on here? Come on. Come on, let's hang out. Uh, let's see. You say, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, uh, thank you for all the time and effort you put into fostering. Your kittens are so cute. Uh, thank you so much for all the time and effort you put into fostering cats. I first discovered Kitten Academy shortly after the Port Oranges were born and was amazed at how the kittens flocked to you when you entered the annex. Of course, I later discovered your secret weapon, chicken baby food. I was also impressed at how each litter seems to have their own personality. I'll tell you, I am too. I'm, I never... Uh, even after all this time, I'm, 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 I'm surprised, I think, by every class and their individual, uh, not just their individual personalities, but their class personalities. They always do seem to have sort of a family um, feel to a lot of them where they, they have a little something in common or, you know, that sets them apart from the other classes. Uh, for these kittens, I think it would be being especially precocious, wouldn't it? Yes. And huge, of course. Very, very big gainers. All right. Uh, you continue watching the kittens, mom, cats, and faculty helped me to realize it was time for me to adopt a cat from the local animal shelter. I ended up with two. Stu and Artie, pictured below, are brothers and litter mates and are two years old. Many evenings, as I am relaxing, Stu and Artie decide it's time to play chase. They both play the aggressor in this game and don't hesitate to run across my lap as they run after, uh, run after each other from the bedroom to the living room and back. Stu and Artie have also become cat litter snobs. I started using boxy cat since you seem to like it so much, and now they will use nothing else. I've enclosed a few items that my cats, present and past, have enjoyed. Please use as you see fit. The older cats really enjoy the purr pads, I guess because they keep the cats warm. Keep doing what you're doing. Hope your ISP problems get resolved soon. Regards. Dorothy A on Discord. Aw, Dorothy. Stu and Artie are beautiful gray tabbies. Uh, I think uh, Artie a little more gray than Stu's got the more black markings. They are lovely. Um, and yes, I think our ISP issues are resolved for the moment, and we're keeping a real close watch on them, but we're still waiting for that upgrade to the real good internet when it's available. Uh, very excited for that. So thank you so much for what you've sent. You have sent us a collection of tiny mice, uh, exactly the kind of mice that everybody likes, like I've said. And I think, oh, they should, uh, no rattles in this one. Instead, it's, oh, I see it's got silver vine and catnip in it instead of uh, rattles. Ooh, that could be interesting. I wonder if there'll be more yeah. love for it. Uh, we'll check that out. Uh, here, I'm going to put them over here for now. And then the purr pad that you were talking about, this is interesting, huh? Uh, not quite what I expected. It is uh, a big pad, um, and it's felted, but it's not its not felted like the felt that most of these things are made out of. It's more, it's a lot more like a, like a Brillo pad texture. I mean, it's not that rough, of course, but um, if I know you probably can't see it too well, but it's a much looser felting, um, but it's not going to come unraveled. It's just more uh, textured. You know, it's not as smooth, uh, and I can see how that would be really appealing to a kitty. It feels like, um, you know what it feels like is uh, when you buy that loose, uh, it's not fiber fill. When you go to the fabric store and you get that that uh, filling material that comes in the big sheets that, that look kind of like this, it, it feels like that stuff too. That didn't help at all, did it? No, that was the least helpful comparison of all time. Anyway, it's called the Mysterious Purr Pad. I see and it's mysterious because cats love it. It works like a magnet and nobody understands how those work. Uh, ultra soft polyester fibers act as an insulator to absorb and hold the heat. I can see how that would work, yes. And works like a magnet, electrostatically charged to trap dander, flea dirt, hair, and dust. Yes, 
Well, I can see that that would be, a, I mean, the material's made out of, it's got to just trap all that kind of stuff in it. Uh, so we'll see how it survives the wash too. But I can absolutely see how a cat, kittens and cats would love to sit on this thing. It seems like just the sort of thing that would attract them like a magnet. So I'm excited to try it out and, and uh, we'll see for ourselves. Thank you for that. I have never seen those before. Okay. Uh, Joy F, once again. All right. Ooh. Oh, more broccoli. Yes. Uh, oh, no note though. Okay, no special note, just more broccoli. Oh, more broccoli and broccoli and not just broccoli. Hang on. So, uh, what I see here, these are great toys. These are all great toys. This is the broccoli. If you are an eagle eyed watcher of the Kitten Academy, you will know this broccoli is currently residing uh, in, the, uh, in the den where the TV is, watching the den, uh, TV with all the kittens. So, you sent us a bunch of these. Uh, it's a broccoli, it's got catnip and silver vine, and those little things at the bottom that look like feet are actually the little silver vine nuggets that you can get. Oh, I see, you just reactivated the mouse. <gasps> now it's going again. Very cool. Okay, so the broccoli, uh, that's a good toy that's got that silver vine on it so the kittens just love, and you sent a bunch of those. Uh, but I see at least one of these. Oops, hang on, extra packet of silver vine. Uh, no, two of these are also these catnip sticks, or silver vine sticks, because they like the fancy version because they have feathers and little bits of rope and stuff too, and bells, you see? Uh, I just put one of these out uh, yesterday or the day before, and it's been getting thrown all over upstairs. I know that they love these two, and they make great endowment toys. Uh, so that is also a really good toy. DJ's been buying uh, this, this kind of thing too. She's been finding and buying those too. So you guys have very similar taste, and the cats love them. Um, thank you for that. Uh, for now, I'm not sure where to put them actually, but I think I'm going to put them here to carry down with the endowments. Because we've already got one of each of those out around uh, the academy for now. And I, the kit, kittens love them, so that now they'll be able to continue to love them at their new homes. I think that's the way. <laughs> nice try, Spy. I think you missed it. Okay, that's crouton stuff. So now we're to this, this stuff here. Good. We've got six more packages. We're getting there. Oh, you flipped it, buddy. You got to get back on its feet. I see it's got one flaw. It doesn't doesn't turn itself back over very easily. Uh, okay. Anna Y, this says. Anna Y. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, what are these? These are very cool. This is some strange little packing material that seems like something kittens would want to play with. And I have never seen it before. It says expand. Uh, look at that. Have you guys seen packing material like this before? Some sort of little cardboard made packing peanuts. Uh, I like it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a note in here somewhere, which we will find. But first, uh, we have these little plastic bowls that we've seen. And these big plastic bowls that I have not seen before. Look, they have pineapples on them. How cute is that? Uh, there's two. There's two of them. There's one in this bag, too, to keep it nice and separated, I think. There we go. Another pineapple bag. Oh, we got some more pineapple stuff, too. But first, I've located the note. Safe to read on air from Anna Y. A-N-A-Y. Anna Y on Discord. All right, Anna Y. Mr. and DJ, I found these pineapple kickers. That's these. Oh, there we go. Pineapple kicker. Oh, hey, look at that. That's perfect for our new mom who needs a kicker, too. Uh, I found these pineapple kickers at the store. They are for whomever. Well, I'm going to put one in my pocket to bring up to new mom right now. Uh, I also sent you an article from my town I thought you would enjoy. I see all the paper in here. I was very excited. Oh, it's tagged. Oh, and there's kittens. It says BCHS students have a great gift. Oh, excuse me. It says uh, this is the Pioneer News. Uh, www.pioneernews.net. Uh, in uh, KY, there we go, Kentucky, and it says BCHS students have a great gift. Uh, humane, AG students aid the Humane Society, help them find homes for cats. How cool, Bullet Central High School's agriculture classroom can learn about farming, veterinary studies, or even adopt a cat. How cool is that? Oh man, if I could have gone to school and seen cats, I uh, probably would still be going to school. 
Okay, uh, I also sent you an article from my town I thought you would enjoy. Yes, okay, thank you for all you and Dr. DJ do. And a Y on Discord PS. I found the bowls and thought they were perfect for pineapple. They are perfect for pineapple. And a Y, thank you so much. Oh, look at how cute that is. I didn't even see the stationery. It's this cute little bird. Okay, uh, put these with the other notes. And let's see, this is not notes, but these are notes. We keep all the notes. I don't know if you guys know that or not. I have all the notes someday when I'm old and retired and don't have kittens, uh, I would guess I'll be reading all the notes again. I'm excited. Uh, okay, uh, the pineapple stuff all has to go in some pineapple-y place. I think I've got some of that downstairs already, though, so I'm just going to pile it on the endowments and put it together there. Uh, these weird little packing peanuts I'm fascinated by. You think there's got to be a machine that makes these things or something, right? Uh, I'm, maybe I'll see more of them in the future. They seem like a sort of environmentally sound option. Uh, and they also seem like they make perfect little cat toys. I don't know what kind of this has got something going on already. They're overstimulated. Okay. Uh, pattern Weaver, Trace and Etch. All right, Trace and Etch. What do we got here? Uh, Trace and Etch. Oop, and Pattern All right, we got a note right on top. Oh. Okay, something fun in there. Uh, okay to read on stream. Oh, uh, the contents are seven bag toys, one each for Crouton and her kids. Okay, perfect. So that tells us what's going on. Oh, you are my sunshine with a little, cute little kitty. Jake, the American short hair, it says, sitting in the sun. Uh, dear Mr. A, DJ, and KA kitties. Oh, these are cool, okay. Due to lack of planning and creative talents, this is still basically a dropship package. I had it routed by my house so I could take out one of the toys as a backup and put this card in. Realizing the crouton and the breads could be leaving any time now, I consulted with Trace and Etch on something they each could take home with them. Trace really recommended these toys that hang from a door frame and have two clasps at the ends of stretchy cord to hang any of the included toys or others that you're choosing. So, you know, that's what's new. Um, I think that there's actually a toy like this in a couple of the endowments already. We had a few door hanging toys ready to go, but I can see that this one that you sent is probably the best one I've seen so far for a couple of reasons. First off, I've never seen a door hanging toy with replaceable ends, but sure enough, this one's got a little carabiner style clip uh, where you can hook on any other toy, any other toy that has a, a loop on it, including some of Logan's favorites. I can't even imagine how crazy he would go for that. Uh, it's got a couple mice in here. You could put Maggie's favorite mice on here. The little go cat mice can fit on it. Anything. That's so cool. The other thing that I really like about it is that the part that clips on the door is made out of a really solid steel wire. Uh, some of them are really flimsy. In fact, the ones that I already put in their endowments are flimsy compared to this. Um, this is, I can feel the difference on how solid this steel is. That's going to last a long time. I think this is even better than those brand name ones, the, the Adora Bell ones. Uh, this, this feels sturdier than that and certainly more, you know, utility to it. So that's really cool. I also see there's two clips in here, so they might have even sent an extra cord for each one too, because why else would there be two clips? Or, oh, maybe you clip it at one end and at the other end. That's too much utility. Oh my goodness. The utility is off the charts. All right, see, so one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven of them, just like you said. Uh, that's a great set of those door hanging toys. My goodness. Uh, where were we? Uh, like Trace yourself, these toys are just a little dangerous when pulled and then released with a quick recoil. <laughs> that's a great analogy. Uh, like Trace yourself, these toys are just a little dangerous when pulled and then released with a quick recoil, so I suggest them as a supervised activity from a safe distance. Yes. I would second that. This is definitely the kind of toy that's only for supervised play. Etch has decided to think about endowments for, for, uh, for Big Orange, a.k.a. Spyglass, and his family. So I decided to send this Sunshine Orange Cat card for now in honor of your current orangey residents, Loganberry, Smidgen, Ocean, and Spyglass. Looking forward to more kitten adventures and happy loving homes for all kittens and mom cats. Gratitude to Mr. A and DJ for all you do from Pattern Weaver. Oh, thank you so much. These are really nice hanging door toys. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, those are going to be fantastic in their endowments. So thank you so much for those. Uh, I like that kit. In fact, that, that's probably one I'm going to want to order for us too in the future. Uh, as soon as we break the ones that we've got. So very cool.
Oh, this is Chewy, so this is going to be... Oh, from Michelle J. All right. There we go. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, very Star Warsian. All right. There's no note. There's never a note. Uh, so I don't know exactly what you meant for us to do with it, but please let me know if there was some particular use. Otherwise, what we have here, we have the R2-D2 catnip kicker. We have the BB-8 catnip wand. Uh, this is a new one on me. It's got a Millennium Falcon, uh, one of the uh, Imperial TIE Fighters, and a uh, Death Star all in one set. They're little catnip uh, spaceships, I guess you could say. Not to scale. And finally, the uh, Yao catnip to help, uh, I guess, make these toys even better. Uh, Michelle, Jay, that's a great set of stuff. Uh, and I think it would fit better in ooh, this box. Maybe this box. Yeah, we'll try this box. Okay. I think it fit better in one of these other boxes. These are really cool Star Wars toys. You know I'm a big fan of all of the stars, whether they're at war or at peace. Uh, so thank you so much for these. Um, where do I put them? I guess they, they have to go downstairs anyway, so we'll, we'll put them there for now. We'll sort that all out. Uh, okay. Oh, reach. Oh, reach. Oh, stretch. Okay, we got it. Oh, hi, Chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. I need to go behind these boxes there. Okay, here we go. We're getting close, guys. Three more. Oh. Uh, this is this is obviously from Janice C. We know Janice C sends us the triangle. The triangle is full of cat uh, um, fun tubes. Yeah, uh, fun tubes? No, not fun tubes. You know what I mean. Uh, the other thing. Noodle sticks. Yes, that's it. Noodle sticks. Those are the words. So uh, the noodle sticks are also a big hit. And uh, Janice actually told me these were coming, that I should open them and get some out in advance because we knew some kittens were leaving early. And I did not do that because I knew I was gonna to have to mail them out anyway and this just makes sure I don't have any excuse. So here we go. The note. All right, the note. We're getting there. Hang on, working on it. Hi Spy, what do you think Cal? You want a noodle stick buddy? I think you do. Oh, we got cats in hanging baskets. This is very cool, like a block stamp thing that's weird. Uh, I don't even know what you call this. What a cool little piece of art. Not only that, it's got um, hmm. it's got these cats in hanging baskets. And then at the bottom, it's got these little tiny stand-up cats. And if you look, I think the artist has done something a little subtle where I almost see another cat like in this scarf that's sitting here. Uh, I don't know. That's that's very cool. It says uh, on the back. It says Trader Joe's Miss Hanging with You, uh, Karen Obhanyik. Okay, we're gonna go with that, Karen Obhanyik. Okay, Miss Hanging with You. It says I couldn't find a card that was the right combination for croutons, tiny beds, and tiny breads, and ocean sailing kits. So instead, I got one that reflects how much I've missed the stream at my KA Discord family and my KA Discord family in the last two months while crazy work and family drama consume my time. I so look forward to returning to my regularly scheduled enjoyment of kitty antics on the stream and human comments and humor in the chat. Y'all are my lifeline to sanity and joy. Hugs to everyone, Janice. Janice, thank you so much uh, for sending these. I actually, I love this card. It is, uh, that art on it is really cute. And of course, you said the a big hit. And I know I've said that I like to make mine shorter, but I do think the kittens like these longer ones that you make better. Uh, over time, I've sort of come to that conclusion. So uh, he's pulling on Astrolabes. The purple one is for Astrolabe. The teal one is for Ocean. The orange one, of course, is probably for Spyglass. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, and then we have a yellow one for Caliper. There you go, buddy. And then we have the big group here. We've got, uh, let's see, there's a Crouton gets this neon red uh, orange one. Uh, smidgen gets this neon pink one. Oh, Spyglass, that is yours, but I'm going to want that back, pal. Uh, seriously. Okay, Tidbit's got the white one. Chunk has the blue one. Uh, Morsel has this gray one. Nugget has the green one. Crumb, dot 19 exclamation mark, has the black one, of course. Uh, those are so cute. Okay, Spy, can I have that back now, please? Come on, you got to save that for graduation, buddy. Uh, besides that, it's another one of those supervised play-only toys. Uh, where did he go? He's not even here in the next room, is he? He took that off. He's, he's gone now. He's left the room. He's out. The building. Bye. I want my toy back. I hear you. 
every time and uh, Janice is the, the one that introduced us to that whole concept and is still I think the most pro prolific and talented maker of them uh, but if you want your own I did once publish a guide on how to make some it's probably kind of out of date as far as the links go um, but uh, you know it's very easy to make so this is a little two-step process it's not a big deal but uh, there's some easier ways to get that surgical tubing on the stick Let's see here. Let's see. All right. Well, this is a oh, this is a B and B box, isn't it? Yes, I think it is. Hang on. Uh, we got this cute little uh, uh, print of kitties. It looks like um, I don't know what it is. I guess because it, it's so zoomed in, there's so much texture. I can't tell what how it was made necessarily. It looks almost pointillist. Could it be? It's a lot of work. Uh, anyway, it says, Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy. We were recently talking about how much we're going to miss Crouton and her kids when they go to their forever homes. They are so sweet. I agree. And they've gotten so silky. Little Crouton here is so silky now. She's turned into a real cat. And she's got uh, also not just silky, but she's also kind of filled out a little bit too. She's got a real cat shape. Um, Okay, it's been so. It's also been interesting watching Ocean's boys grow and develop their individual personalities. Unlike Crouton's kids, we definitely have a favorite among Ocean's boys, although it's a different one for each of us. Enclosed are the usual toys, food, and blankets to be used as you see fit. The B and B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Well, thank you so much, B and B sisters. That is very, very sweet of you. And uh, yes, yeah, some of the kind of usual stuff, I guess. This is awesome. Uh, this is a beautiful sort of a sea green blanket with this cat's head on it. It's got some blues and stuff in it too. And look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. That is lovely. Uh, hang on now. <laughs> She's going to get those noodle sticks out of there. There's another blanket here. Oh, look at these. This is more angular and bold, bright colors. I like this too. Uh, which way is up? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I really like this piece of art. I can't tell which way is up from this side. It's got to be like this. There we go. Now we got it. That is really cool. Uh, I, I'm not normally a big fan of the uh, sort of pixelated, not pixelated look, but, you know, uh, the low poly look. That's it. And this is not exactly a low poly print, which is maybe why I like it so much. It's just, it's really cool because it's kind of that style, but it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's, that's, that's neat. I like it. Okay. Uh, this is... Uh, breakfast. A, it looks like a very big breakfast with uh, there's wow pancakes and toast and bacon and eggs and a strawberry and a kiwi all on a felt plate. Uh, those are some very cute little cat toys. We have some fuzzy balls. Uh, we have this uh, very ornately embroidered tiny tropical fish, Kong tropical fish. Very cool. We have fast food. Okay, we got breakfast. We got fast food. This one is uh, this one's got chicken, uh, pizza packet of crushed red peppers, French fries, bubble tea, uh, and pizza in it. Uh, so I think there might be a taco hidden under there as well. That's also a cute set of toys. Uh, we have this one is three different kinds of oh juice cleansing detox. <laughs> That seems so weird and random. Okay. Uh, corn dog, also kind of strange and random. Uh, and uh, remote control catnip kicker toy. Now that's fun. If you got a cat that likes to bite on the remote control, you can give them this one as a distraction, right? That's very cute. Okay. Uh, this one is, what are these? Crayons. They're crayons. They're crayons with little faces and uh, ribbons on the bottom. Little tiny crayons. All right, then we have two sets of receiving blankets, flannel receiving blankets. Look at these prints. This one's got a sort of a, a lemony print on this side. This one's got, you can't see it, but there's bumblebees on this pink one. And then this, whoops, teal one on the end. I don't know, it's very cute, got some polka dots. 
And this one is this really cool geometric stuff that kind of goes with that blanket that I like, um, including we've got this big black and white block print here. We've got these like laser lines going on over here. These are all straight. And this one's got a pink uh, checkered surface of various sizes. Very cool. And then top it all off with uh, two cases of the chicken classic pate from Fancy Feast. Exactly what we've been feeding the kittens here. Perfect for them. Uh, your box got a little bit dinged up, so I'm just going to take stuff out of it. And we're going to retire that box. Uh, there we go, right back there. Uh, thank you so much, B&B. These are so cool. I'm going to put these uh, right up here for potentially endowments, but at least to get sorted out in the basement with everything else uh, if I can. We're running out of room. Wow. Uh, everybody's so great to these kittens. They're going to love taking all this stuff home with them. Oh, look at that. A second package from Lover of Cats. Wow. B&B, uh, &B, thank you again. All right, lover of cats. Oh, 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 these are what you were talking about when you said, uh, no, did you say? You know what? You said another note. Let's just read it and not try to remember what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one's kind of a novel. Where's my coffee? Hang on. Let me, let me get a little coffee going. Mm. All right, here we go. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Let me start saying thank you both for all you do, not only for the cats and kittens in your loving care, but also for everyone who watches on YouTube and for those on KA's Discord channel. You've improved the lives of so many cats while bringing joy to even more people. I have sent some things for Sweet Mama Ocean and her sailing kits. There's a marshmallow bed for Ocean. Uh, is that the, the blue bed, I assume, then? Is that right? Is that the one that came from you? Uh, we guessed anyway, so that works out. Plus three cardboard cat scratches for spyglass caliber and astrolabe. That was you also. Okay, so see, now things are starting to come together. And it's the last box we opened too. What are the chances? Uh, okay, this box contains some of my cats. Uh, that's, is it Tubi and Jacob? Uh, Tubi and Jacob's favorite toys and treats. There are a few fur mice and fun tubes along with some Shiba meaty sticks and delectable squeeze-ups. There's also a Dr. Brew Octopi for everyone. Oh, you'll notice they all have two white arms. Those are for sweet compass. Angels have white wings, so I asked Dr. Brew to include the white arms as a way to remember. We all have our favorite kittens from each litter. Compass was mine. Oh, that's so sweet. I fell in love with Compass the moment I saw it. I would have loved to have adopted. It wasn't meant to be. Instead, I symbolically adopted him. I made a, a donation to the Humane Society of North Texas in memory of Compass. How sweet. The donation covered the cost of a kitten's adoption. Uh, it's not technically my local shelter. They, that's uh, the Humane Society of North Texas, not technically my local shelter. They are about an hour from me. They are the shelter that Dr. Brew fosters for. I chose HSNT as a way to say thank you for making the octopi for me. You rock, Dr. Brew. Much love to everyone. Ramble on and squeeze a kitten for me, uh, lover of cats, and my fur babies, Jacob and Toby. All right. Jacob and Toby, uh, lover of cats. Thank you so much. That is really sweet. What a sweet way to remember Little Compass. So uh, here we have, I see, just like you said, Caliper and all the contents you've already listed. But let's put one, at least one of these little octopuses out to show you. Now, uh, if you don't know, Dr. Brew has uh, gotten into this uh, crocheting thing. It's crocheting, right? Or is it knitting? For some reason, I can't keep those straight. Um, and I know they're very slightly different techniques in very important ways. And I'm sure I'm offending everybody um, but, uh, look, we're going to say, we're going to say, uh, crochet here. Okay. Cause that's what this looks like to me. There we go. And as you can see, we've got eight tiny little legs and the two little white legs in front, two little white eyes. And they're all like that. Uh, astrolabe's got this navy blue one. We've got a multicolored one with ocean with the greens and blues. It's lovely. And then we got a green one for spyglass that will look great with him running around with that in his mouth. Uh, and then this one, of course, is for caliper. They're so sweet. And I was going to say, uh, Dr. Brew's been doing this, uh, this crochet thing. Uh, if you don't know uh, Dr. Brew, that's Brew Cats. That's B-R-U-C-A-T-S. She does uh, fostering as well. They also have a live stream. And you probably should know her. Uh, she was also the one that started KACon, believe it or not. So uh, definitely been a friend of ours and involved in Kitten Academy stuff for quite a while before she started fostering on her own. And if you've seen, uh, there's a little blue and yellow owl uh, in the next room that was also made by uh, Dr. Brew. So very cute stuff. All right, 
Uh, thank you so much for these. And I will be, uh, I'm, I'm very excited to put these in the endowments for them too. I'm mean, getting, now this box is just totally full. Okay, that's good that we're at the end of the mailbag because that's nothing else is going to fit in there. Uh, once again, everybody's been so amazingly generous, and I feel like I haven't said enough of it lately. I know I always, I always kind of say that, but I'm really feeling it these last few days. I've been like, you know, uh, with all the, the work I've been doing, and I feel like I've been sort of disconnected from everybody in a way uh, that I don't love. Um, you know, I, it's I, anyway. My point is, I, I feel like I just I haven't said enough lately how much I really appreciate all of you guys and how much I really um, feel you care for these kittens. You know, it really does take everybody to, it takes a village and you guys, uh, you know, make up the, the vast majority of that village. It's like I used to say, you know, I just, I'm one guy at Kitten Academy. Uh, you guys really are the most of what makes Kitten Academy work. And I, I appreciate it in a way that I, I just, I really can't even explain, but I want you to, know, I really feel it uh, a lot. And, uh, and uh, I need to do better at expressing it, I think on the regular. So uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, now, as you know, what, what I'm going to do is get up and uh, start getting all this stuff put where it belongs. And then we will wrap up the archives and that will be today's mailbag. So thanks again, everybody. All right. Uh, here we go. Up and at them. How am I going to get all this stuff where it goes, though? I'll tell you what, the first thing I'm going to do is get some shoes on because my heels have been bothering me. All right. Falling apart here. Oh. Uh. You must choose wisely. That's how it goes. All right, these are going to go downstairs, so that's going to go in there. These are going to go upstairs, so I'm going to walk up there with my shoes first and get rid of that. Kids, by the time I get back down here, I want all this mess cleaned up. You hear me? All right. That might be the most dad thing I've ever said. Pretty sure that's a direct quote from my own father. Okay. <laughs> no, look at your kids nursing in here. Wow. Thank you, girl. I should cut new toys, but I'll be back. I can't stay yet. I'll come back. Okay, I'll give you a quick pet first. Okay. Okay. Okay, if you're good, maybe you can hang, come hang out in the office with me for a little bit later, okay? Have some more food, though. Come back. Custard, if you wanted to go out there with DJ, you know you can, right? Custard, Custard, come here, buddy. Custard, Custard, you You're not Custard, you're Crouton. You want to go out? We just open this, let anybody go out. Where's the little clip to hold it open with? All right, now everybody's going to go out. We don't know how to get back in if I haven't clipped it. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Well, where's the clip? Where is it? I can carry this whole box at once. Let's find out how heavy it is. No, oh, that's not heavy.
Okay, got Motion, haven't those kids had enough, like, forever? At least it's pretty Gotta get set aside somewhere for now. Don't have to actually get combined with anything else.
Alright, well, seems like everybody's calming down a bit. Uh, yeah, it might be nap time. Not for me, of course. Never yeah, for me. It's always somebody else's nap time in my world. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, hey, let's uh, let's call this the end of mailbag. Then I'm going to end the archive here. For watching on the archive. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out what's going on on the Kitten Academy live stream right now. Um, if you are not watching it live, wait. Uh, if you are watching it live, you know what? Uh, just don't go anywhere. All right, we're here. You should hang out with the kittens. Uh, yeah. Okay.